When you talk about wanting to be more productive, wanting to build habits, wanting to be more disciplined, you fully ignore a huge part of yourself. You don't understand that you actually have multiple parts within you. Because there's the one part that simply says, I have to overcome this, I'm such a loser, I need to continue doing this, I just have to wake up early, I have to do this stuff. And that's, by the way, the part that clicked on the video. But then there's another part within you which really honestly says, I don't want to, I want to sleep a bit longer, I want to do something different, or I want to relax. So you basically have the performance side and let's call it the recovery side, even though maybe it also says that you even want to do something else, not just recovering, maybe doing something totally different. And you ignore that side fully. So in a sense, you're stubborn. You just let this one side talk. I just want to get the stuff done. This is what I need. This is what I need to do. And I don't care about the other side. I don't care about you wanting to relax. I don't care about you wanting to do something different. I don't need you. And that's stubborn. And though in a sense, that means to apply discipline, discipline yourself, discipline the other side. But discipline also means forcing and you're forcing yourself right now. And first of all, I'm wondering for how long can you do that? Probably not that long. Probably you tried, probably it works for a couple of days, but then you backlash. That's why you watched that video. And also, even if you could, even if you could force and discipline yourself like a slave for weeks and months, I would wonder what else is left behind? What else are you missing? Because this is some sort of emotional violence you're right now doing to yourself. And the funny thing is that it doesn't even work. You're being so hard on yourself and it doesn't work. So maybe let's try something different. So what you need to understand is first of all, this recovery side, and you need to listen to that side. You don't do that. You don't really actually appreciate that side. Maybe it has some, something important to say. Maybe this is the wrong business you're in. Maybe you need some rest. Maybe you also, while being productive, productive also you need to take care that you are sustainably productive that you work long term and not get a burnout sooner or later you need to listen to that understand that and also this other side that is disciplining yourself you also need to appreciate this side this side just wants to do a good job wants to be outstanding maybe even just wants to be loved wants to be safe it's actually quite some self-care that is going on here. I want to take care of myself and manage my stuff. But this communication within you, those inner conflicts of, oh, I'm lazy, or, oh, I want to sleep longer, or no, you should not. This conflict, this internal conversation, you don't even notice that. And it's very toxic these days. And this toxic conversation leads to a lot of friction. And that friction, guess what, is a lot of energy that you just blow away less energy for you to actually be productive. So you're confused about the voices. You need to handle that. Um, and also you need to handle your emotional level in a sense. You ignore your emotions these days. Um, and you need to let go of this harshness and stubbornness. If you really want to deal with that long term, you don't just want to force yourself and do and bust through things like a machine because you're not never works long term. Uh, and the interesting thing is if you actually healthily communicate with yourself, you're most effective, most productive on the long term, you make most money. It's not just the side that's just oh, just just hold hands and be peaceful. No, no, no. It's also about being most effective, making most money and having most fun in life. If you want to handle that and have a better communication within you and a healthy and a healthy idea of how productivity works, then schedule a call with me. There's a link below the video. You can schedule a first free call that we can actually build up a custom strategy for you that will be already valuable. So book that call and let's work on that. Because just busting through doesn't work. What you tried the last years, apparently it doesn't work. Let's try something new. Maybe you listen to some random habit coaches that just talk about let's how to build habits, but they don't get the bigger picture. I started like that. I started as a habit coach. 
And I helped quite a lot of people, but I noticed also looking backwards, there were some people that needed something different. Because then I became a psychologist and I got a little bit deeper into our mind. And I noticed, because in the beginning I thought, oh, habits is such an easy topic, I can start with that. That will be my first niche. And then now after all those years, I'm noticing, well, habits is actually, if you do it the right way, quite an interesting niche where you go as deep as with all the other topics in psychology if you want to do it properly. So let's do it properly, book that call, and let's get some stuff done now.